So one thing I love about Lake Casitas is look how early it opens. What is up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I'm here at Lake Casitas. Um, uh, what kind of person goes out fishing when it's 30 degrees outside? Anyway, it's 37 degrees. It's very cold out. What I love about Casitas is it's open this early. There's no one on the lake. The sun isn't even up. Man, if like uh, Castaic was open this early, man, oh, it'd be such good fishing. Anyway, um, I came to Casitas because uh, a couple of reasons. I wanted to, I haven't been here in a little while and I just want to check it out. And as you know, like the, the size of the fish here is just better than most places as far as average size fish. So you got uh, quality over quantity. With this kind of weather, I will be lucky to catch some fish today. I'm gonna to be honest with you. I'm guessing it's gonna be a finesse sort of day. Um, shout out to uh, Brandon Ponzo. I watched a couple of his videos from uh, earlier in the month and the dude was slaying it out here. So that's the other reason that I came out. Um, so I'm gonna try some of his techniques, some of my own and, and some of the tried and true and see if I can't get on a decent bite. Uh, so that is it, I'm gonna get a go find a couple of spots and see if I cannot find some fish today. All right, I've accepted the fact that it's gonna be a tough bite today, right? I knew that going in. If I can catch one fish, I'll be happy, maybe a couple fish, that would be awesome. But really, it's just about getting one good bite. But here's the other thing. You know, the reason why I, I come out to a place like this, it is close to my house. It's uh, 40 minutes, which is the closest lake. But this, this is why. I mean, seriously, how do you want to spend your morning sleeping? All of your mornings? Every once in a while, something like this. Just got to take it all in. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself to uh, to catch a fish. I'm going to try to catch a fish. I'm here to fish. But I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. So I'm here to try a few different things. Be very patient. And yeah, try a couple of different spots. I'm going to start out here. It's this island behind me. It's shallow on this side. And it drops off really deep, so... I try this spot here first. In a lake like this, when conditions are like this, how I like to start. Good old fashioned Sanko. On one rod, throw it off the point here. Maybe throw some crankbait in the meantime as I'm rigging up and getting ready for a drop shot. All right, first fish of the day on the drop shot I don't think he is big but I don't think he knew he was hooked either there he goes I think I got six pound on here so remember it's cold water so you got a minute this guy barely hit it um, but man this is uh some good news here. Ah, not bad. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this fish. Big. But this thing is heavy. Look at that belly. Look at this belly. This dude is eating. First fish of the day, literally my first real cast. This guy's like a three pound fish, but he's so, look at this, beautiful. I'm all right, gonna get him back. He's actually kind of warm, so that's a good sign. So it was cool to catch that fish, but honestly, he was his belly was so big because I guess he was deep um, because his air bladder was full 
and he was floating at the surface for a really long time and it was stressing me out. I, I tried to resuscitate him, it wasn't working, he was belly up. I don't have any fizzing uh, needles on board, but I did a, a, an emergency fizzing procedure and you don't really want to do this, uh, but I didn't have a needle. So I used a hook, I straightened it out and you know, you you stick it uh, just behind the pectoral fin uh, where the you can see it's it's full and the bladder's full and I had it in the net so I could see it under the water and I just stuck this in until I felt um, the air start to come out I pushed on the bladder uh, pushed the air out uh, I saw the air coming out because he was underwater and he was able to swim back down and he's not swimming anywhere near me belly up and that is a huge relief because it was just one dead bass for me just it breaks my heart I, I cannot stand it uh, I just have so much respect for these fish so the fact that I was able to save them uh, makes me really really happy and I didn't film the procedure because I was really not sure that that fish was going to survive he was floating belly up for so long I tried to keep him in the water tried to keep him as healthy as I could but I just didn't think he was gonna make it I've never done a fizzing I've definitely never done it with a fishing hook so I just, I didn't want to film it because, you know, I just didn't want to kill that fish and, and film fil filming, killing it. But it looks like he's gone. He, I saw him swim back down. I saw the rest of the air come out. So it was a success. All right, I don't know what's going on back here. There are a bunch of white birds. Feels good. <sighs> Twirling me around. This guy's heavy, man. He's trying to come up. Trying to come up. Don't get... Oh, good fish. Good fish. Man, this disc is heavy. Oh my God. If you knew how much pressure I was putting on this fish, I mean, this is, God, oh. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this fish right here. I know that my drag is a little loose, but good fish. Boy, that's a beauty. Look at that. Barely hooked. Gorgeous. It's probably four pounds. What do you think? Oh, beauty. So as you know, you know, normally I like to try new things uh, and I am trying some new things today, but um, knowing this lake and knowing the bite right now, um, I just got uh, my, both of my fish on the drop shot, just sort of letting it sit, you know, almost dead sticking. It's barely drifting with the wind. Um, you know, I'm throwing other things too, but so far it's the only thing that's gotten bit. So it might be a kind of dead stick finesse sort of a day, which I'm fine with. I was kind of expecting that. And while I'm doing that, I could always uh, throw other things and just kind of mess around. Look at that. I hope you guys can see that bobcat with a big bird in his mouth. I saw him jump in the water. Or actually, rather, I saw him jump out of the water and uh, shake off, and I knew it was a cat. Wow, he grabbed one of these coots. That was awesome. Alright, so I also like to use specific colors at specific lakes. 
Um, Castaic, I like the Oxblood Red Flake uh, and um, what's it called? Morning Dawn Robo Worm a lot. Uh, today, I am using this, the Oxblood Red Flake, um, four and a half inch straight tail. I, I was gonna use the longer one, the six inch, I just didn't have any. So, this has been working so far, so good. Yeah, good fish. Don't come up, don't come up. He's trying to come up. Remember, I got light line on here. Jump anyway. All right. Looks like another good one. If you can see this point, good fish. Oh, good fish. It's all the boat. Oh. I don't know why I do that. I'm awful. I'm a horrible fisherman. I'm telling you now, I'm awful. God dog it. I'm awful. I'm a horrible fisherman. I'm telling you now, I'm awful. That was a good fish. Probably five, six pounds. I managed to do exactly what I wanted, which was drift this point into this area with the drop shot. Finally got a bite, big fish, drag's not loose enough, broke me off. Six pound test. I'm awful. I'm, I'm just very bad at this. <sighs> oh. That just makes me so frustrated and angry. Especially because I've not been doing too much fishing lately. And I get a nice fish like that, my biggest in a while, and have him break off at the boat. You know, I don't know if it's impatience or I'm tired or I just get so excited I'm like blinded and I'm not focusing, but man, I need to focus. So I could have easily landed that fish. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Tell me about big fish you lost. I think I've done this before. This is how bad I am at this. I remember uh, asking you guys that. <laughs> all right, the name of the game today was Finesse. I got them all on the drop shot, all three bites. Missed that big one. Man, I almost always miss one fish at Casitas and it sucks because the bite is very tough to come by. But anyway, whatever. You live and you learn. Uh, learn to be patient. So yeah, that was it. Uh, I threw everything else, but only got bit on the drop shot using the Robo Worm. I showed you which one I was using. Very small hooks. Um, and let's see what else. Watching that bobcat jump into water and eat a bird was fascinating to me. That was super cool. Um, and yeah, shout out to Mark and Thousand Oaks. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.